I am choosing to make this video um, due to the fact that I was diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer March 21st of this year. It was stage one, which means I got it early. But as you can see, uh, mine was very regular, uh, different shades of black and brown. And uh, it was actually discovered by a client of mine, a patient, um, who noticed it. And again, this was on the back of my arm. A uh, little bit better picture there. This is mine was about the size of a nickel when it was discovered. And this is the biopsy that they took out that uh, to diagnose if it is skin cancer. Um, as you can tell, that takes a, several layers of uh, tissue out. Again, that's a biopsy spot. This is the what it looks like after they removed the skin cancer. As you can see, it was about my incision was about four inches long, and uh, they keep this pressure dressing on there for about 48 hours after the surgery. You can't shower or take this off for that amount of time. And I can tell you right now, it hurts like hell for two or three days. Um, this is the incision site afterwards. It really shouldn't be a hump there, but there is. Um, these are the stitches. This is what mine looks like on the back of my arm. Um, this was a couple days after I took the dressing off. And yes, I was shocked too. Uh, you can see the suture line. Uh, again, it was about four and a half inches long. And that was a few days after the other pictures. This is on the 3rd of April. And again, 3rd of April. And this is, as you can see by the date, the 3rd of April. And this is what mine looks like now. And as you can tell, it looks about the same. Um, it still is not pretty, and it's still, I don't know what kind of scar I'm going to have, but they did get all the cancer. I did get the results that they got clear margins, which means I no longer have skin cancer on my arm. I did find another spot on my leg that they took off yesterday. The reason I'm making this video is I want people to look at this and to understand that if you tan, you are increasing your chances of getting melanoma. If you're lucky, you'll catch it early and you'll have an ugly scar. If you're not, um, it could kill you. So my advice is no tanning beds, don't lay out in the sun, I was out in the sun as a, when I was younger all the time. We didn't use sunscreen when I was a kid. Um, I didn't use, I've never used a tanning bed, but I've been out in the natural sun a lot. I'm just telling you, you'll end up with a scar like this if you get melanoma, if you're lucky. So please, look at the videos, look at the pictures. Don't do it. Don't use tanning beds. Don't lie out in the sun. Don't be another statistic like I was. Just don't do it.